Good. Here's little everybody. <laughs> Any birthdays in the house? Woo! We got a birthday here. Okay. Let's uh, give some applause to the birthday dude here in the back. He's definitely, uh, you getting some birthday sex tonight? I'm just putting that out in the universe. And anybody that wants to make your wish come true, you know, maybe somebody there at the table, and maybe that's peer pressure. You gotta give it to him, you gotta give it to him. Who else had a birthday, anybody else? Coming up. Coming up? Oh, he said he's in line for the birthday sex. He's like, he's like, coming up, but it's not today. Okay, he's getting ready. Okay. Anyway, what what does um, what does uh, Will Smith and President Obama have in common? What? <laughs> well, they've got a special. They're good at what they do, and they have a special message for you tonight. With some applause, they'll come out. Would you like Will Smith? Yeah! My name is Will Smith, <laughs> and I just want to let you know I'm, uh, I've been lobbying President Obama for the rights to play him in my next movie. Now, we have about three possibilities. We haven't named the movie yet, but we'd like to know what you think about him. One possible movie title we might have of me playing President Obama, one title might be Ears big enough to hear your thoughts from sea to shining sea. <laughs> Second possibility, we might call it, I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> Oprah says a black man in the White House is just fine. <laughs> now third possibility, we might call it, MIB, AKA Fresh Prince of Washington, DC. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Woo! Okay, now there's another. There's another project I'm real excited about. It's going to be a bigger, epic blockbuster. Now, we're going to, I'm really excited about this one. We're going to call it, I believe we're going to call it Independence Day Do Saves the Middle East from dudes wearing three piece suits and do rag sheets. <laughs> like that one? Yeah? I'm just, it just seems like a sick and ridiculous idea to think that that's not going to happen. As soon as I heard about that project, I just made it real. We're going to do that movie project. You know, when I met with President Obama, I met with him, and I really felt that he could hear what I had to say. Because as you can see, we both have the ability to listen very well. <laughs> But seriously, I told President Obama, I want to do good. I want the world to be better because I was here. I want my life, I want my work, I want my family, I want it to mean something. You know, it's like, if you're not making someone else's life better, you're wasting your time. Your life will become better by making other lives better, you know? So I wrote a song for the movie. You want to hear it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I need you to clap your hands to the rhythm like this. Clap your hands to the rhythm like this. Clap your hands to the rhythm like this. Big Willie's in it. We're getting jiggy with it. Listen to your neighbor, then you'll make a friend. I hear you. Do you hear me? 
Imagine how exciting world peace would be. Big ears are in. Listen to your neighbor, then make a friend. I hear you. Do you hear me? Imagine how exciting world peace would be. Say peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. Say peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. Say peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. Give yourselves a round of applause. Join me in welcoming President of the United States of America, your President, Barack Hussein, yes we can, Obama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Will Smith, for your introduction. After talking about my ears, I think him and I are going to need to have a beer summit on the White House lawn. Or in our case, we call it an ear summit. I'm open for ideas on how to do it. If you haven't done it before, I'm listening. Obviously, I'm all ears. People of the world, Portland, Oregon, my brothers and sisters here tonight. This is our moment. This is our time. There's no challenge we cannot meet. It's time for comedy we can't believe in. For when faced with impossible odds of making all of you laugh, we've been told we're not funny. We can't make you laugh. Or we shouldn't even try. Generations of Americans have responded to a simple creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we laugh. Yes, we laugh. Yes, we laugh. Let us unite, chart a new course for America. We may not be able to stop all evil in the world, but I know one thing, how we treat each other, it's entirely up to us. Let's use this occasion to expand our moral imaginations, to listen to one another more carefully, to sharpen our instincts for empathy, and remind ourselves of all the ways that our hopes and dreams are bound together in one people. But we're not a nation that says, don't ask, don't tell. We're not liberal America. We're not conservative America. We are the United States of America. We are a nation that says, out of many, we are one. We're a nation that says, all men and women are created equal. I want this democracy to be as good as nine-year-old Christina imagined it. I want America to be as good as she imagined it. All of us should do everything we can do to make sure this country lives up to our children's expectations. For we will move forward together or not at all. Winning the future. Winning the future. Together, the future is ours to win. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.